Okay, let's start the show. Shimmy, shimmy, yaw, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yay. Um. Hi. <laughs> it is 8.30 in the morning right now. I have been up since, uh... Uh... Remember... The witch in what the fuck? Oh, I gotta go talk to the witch first. My bad. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, I'm turning in these mushrooms because I'm tired of holding on to them. Bandits are gonna fucking put bandits. Oh my god. The guards are gonna pull me over and be like, "Hey, you got drugs on you?" And I'm gonna be like, "No." And all the blue mushrooms are gonna fall out, and I'm gonna be like, "Oh god, I was holding those for somebody." And they're gonna be like, "A likely story." And then I'm gonna go to the the jail. Scrappy, stop growling. I'm recording right now, dude. Why do you always wait until I start recording to growl and bark and shit? I love you, but stop. Anyway, I've been up since 2.30 because, uh, Fetus Pie, uh, he was in one of the episodes earlier. Um, I can't remember if I said he moved in. Yeah, he moved in and he's my roommate now, but, uh, his car's still being worked on, so he needed a ride. To, he needed to get to work at, like, 3 this morning. So, I woke up at, like, 2.30 so I could take him and stuff. Like, whatever, I go to bed early, dude. I'm, I don't know, once the sun starts to go down, I'm just kind of like, hey, it's bed, it's bedtime. <laughs> So yeah, been up since like 2.30, hung out for a bit, had some coffee, and then I went for a run at like 5.30, 5.45 when the sun was starting to come up. And uh, I was going to run like four and a half miles, but I ended up going a full six, like whatever, man. I only run, I only, I only do my runs on Mondays and Tuesdays, my days off, and then uh. Fridays and sometimes Saturdays depending on how many miles I've ran throughout the week but um I still can't Yeah, dude the during the day it's getting like a hundred and ten degrees here this. So running in the Sun kind of sucks we won't forget your kindness, hero. I remember we back in the quiet. day like so Not just where I am now, but like pretty much all the cities I lived in in California are like super hot like, I mean, 110 plus degree summers. So, it's really wild to look back when I was like 14, 15, hell, even like 17 and 18. Me and my friends used to walk around these cities all fucking day because we were bored. We had nothing to do. We didn't have vehicles. So, like, we were always walking around and stuff. And I'm just like, holy shit, dude. If I go to... If I go and check the fucking mail nowadays, like, I get back in the house and I'm like, whew! Granted, I'm 31 now, which I know isn't old, but still. Also, sorry, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do some side quests these next couple of episodes. I have to do this, um... What the fuck? Oh! Wow. What? 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 What the fuck? Shit. Okay, hold up. Oh, that's right. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Um, so I'm doing the quest where you have to rescue this trader. Like, these two, these two brothers are, like, traitors, and one of them got kidnapped. So the other one called for a hero. Uh, yeah, you gotta go to Oakvale and then go in through the clifftop path and start at that end of the abandoned road. Yeah, sorry guys. Fuck. But anywho, yeah, I'm gonna do these couple of side quests because I mean, after these two side quests and shit, like, it's kind of you know, the second act of the game, I guess. You have to go rescue the archaeologist and then, um, you go straight to, like, Bargay Prison. And, uh... Fuck, this part of the game bores the shit out of me. Like, it's not fucking bad. No, I like the whole story. It's just... It's f this fucking prison scene sucks. It's not as bad as Fable 2, though. That's for fucking sure. But yeah, no, um... Uh... Oh, God, and then the graveyard. <laughs> we'll get to that here in a sec. But yeah, I'm gonna go take care of this side quest real quick. And, uh... I'm also going to take a drink of coffee. 
Whew, holy fuck, dude. I have to be up tomorrow early, too, because Fetus Pie needs a ride to work um, at, like, 3.30. Like, he's got to be there at 4. So... I wake up at 4 anyway on my work days. Uh, so, I mean, waking up 30 minutes earlier, whatever. But, um... We're very lucky we don't live far from work. Again, it's not... I mean, it can be walking distance, but... Driving? No, it's like... Both of our jobs are like five-minute drives in the opposite way. He's kind of more in town. I'm, like, in a different part of the area. But, yeah, we don't have a whole lot to travel, so thank fuck for that. Man, this, uh... I may not need Scorm's Bow. Again, I've been kind of holding off on getting it. I know I said, oh, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. I fucking hate trying to get it. Like, the walkthroughs, and then when I walk, the walkthroughs, like, make it look easy, and the people that do it, like, video tutorials make it look easy, but then I feel like every time I go to do it, I fuck it up somehow. I've gotten it before, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna worry about it during this session. Oh, shit. <laughs> I love the soundtrack in this game. It's like, dude, stop yelling. Well, I mean, if you were getting shot by arrows, you'd yell too. I'd be pretty pissed off. Like, ow, man. <laughs> so... You guys know those fucking scams where people message you in Facebook and they're like, Hey, drop your cash app! Well, I got a message yesterday morning from this me, fucking please, person. Oh, and uh, they were brother. like, Hey, drop me. your cash app for a blessing. And I was... I wasn't in like a shitty mood. I had just gotten done with a run, so I was like... I was hungry and sore and tired and all that stuff. Um, but I just responded to him with, uh, how about I drop my nuts on your fucking forehead? And, like, I'm like, hey, I think this is fucking meme-worthy. So I just posted the screenshot and took, uh, obviously took the personal information out. But, oh my god, people loved it. It went viral. It didn't actually go viral, but I had a couple friends say, like, oh, dude, I was having a bad day and that cheered me up. I'm like, oh, fuck yeah, dude. Wordo, birdo. That's actually what uh, me and my boy Cameron are calling uh, calling our next album, Wordo Birdo. I don't know if we're actually going to for sure, but um, if you want to check out our music, we're on Spotify and YouTube, and we got a uh, we got a music video on Blank TV. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're called Stages of Relapse, and our first album, which we released. Uh, last winter on the prowl is available on Spotify and YouTube and stuff if you guys want to go check us out That'd be greatly appreciated if you like hardcore punk you'll like it. It's all like 80s style hardcore punk We have one kind of like surf punk sort of song on there and uh, We have like a ska punk kind of song uh, but yeah, the rest of it's just like straight up 80s hardcore, circle jerks, black flag, adolescence sort of shit. So, yeah, if you guys want to check us out, stages of relapse. I play guitar and do occasional lead vocals, mainly backing vocals. But yeah, next we're gonna go to Knothole Glade. We're gonna break the siege. So I'll catch you guys next time on Jack Game and Sid. Like, subscribe, and uh, have a good day, everybody. Peace out, Girl Scout.